Well, it is the biggest brewery in East and Central Africa, but it is increasingly under pressure from new players in the market. The East Africa Breweries has experienced mixed performance in the recent past with revenues and overall sales slowing down. Now, is this an indication that their beer market has reached saturation or is there still room for other players? KTN's Michael Karanja reports. Kenyans from all walks of life have over the years enjoyed a pint of beer. This can be dated back to 1922 when Kenya Breweries first brewed its flagship beer, Tusker. Since then, the company has enjoyed overwhelming success, controlling over 90% of the formal alcoholic beverage market. But even with a competitive advantage, EABL has found the going tough over the last year, posting a 38% dip in profits and sales growing by 6% to 59 billion shillings. And I look across the whole of EABL with uh, great enthusiasm about the potential for the business. But the last 12 months were a little bit tough. Um, I think that our destiny is in our control. I think we can shape the future performance of EABL. The challenge for EABL is that a number of local and international brewers are competing for consumers and have upped their game. Locally, Kroche, the young upstart, has come into the market launching Summit and Summit Malt beers. SAB Miller from South Africa has been locked in a spirited battle with EABL over the last two decades and has finally gotten a local distribution channel through Crown Beverages to market its products. But perhaps the biggest challenge, according to analysts, is the arrival of Dutch beer maker Heineken that has got the hots for the premium end of the market and EABL is already feeling the heat. I mean, any, any industry is difficult, yes? I mean, obviously now we have started distributing our beer into the market. So you have to compete with various other brands, international brands, other local brands. But I always feel competition is healthy. It's healthy for the market, it's healthy for the consumer, and it always makes you to strive better. As CEO of EA, EABL, one of my agenda items is to make sure that Tes Tusker becomes much more global as a brand than it is at the moment. Regulations for the consumption of beer with the famous Mutuda law has affected the demand side of the beer business. But with the competition slowly moving towards the premium end, brewers are continuously looking to outdo one another. Micro Brewer Brew Bistro set up in the market four years ago and is slowly capturing the designing consumers. EABL has taken note of this and is looking to spend more on marketing its premium beer Tusker Malt and its reserve range of whiskies. As you, we see the emergence of middle class, you know, an emerging middle class population of more, um, more scale than, than there was before, uh, those consumers in those segments will drink more wines, more spirits, um, they'll drink more kind of international brands. And EABL, as a big player in the market, needs to make sure that its portfolio has got brands which consumers in in those kind of demographic sets or in those uh, segments would, would kind of turn to. Beer marketing wars are not new to the country and what's certain is that they're not about to end. Michael Karanja, KTN.